Moving on to our next story. Now, it was the party town of the ancient Romans, a place to relax, but also to get up to no good. Towards the end of the Roman Empire or late 4th century, nature claimed the town and slowly submerged it beneath the sea. Now, its ruins are the world's largest underwater museum. Take a look at our next report. Hidden beneath the sand and pebbles, a Roman mosaic. Just a few kilometers from Naples, divers and tourists visit all year round to travel back in time and swim through ancient streets, past mosaics, statues, columns and the remains of what was once a seaside resort for wealthy Romans. Now, the only residents are fish and seahorses. But until the end of the 3rd century AD, the Roman town of Baia was a playground frequented by senators, wealthy Roman citizens and emperors. That was until the land sank below sea level. The drawback mentioned in Asian sources was that Baia was often referred to as a place of ruin where people came for excellent and noble reasons such as thermal therapies, but then they carried out practices much less related to those activities and more related to personal enjoyment. The sinking of the coast caused the abandonment of the coastal villas, but it also ensured its immortality, as the ruins of the city were discovered towards the end of the last century. In 1969, the ruins of two marble statues were discovered by chance. They represented two characters from the story of a Roman's drunkenness. Further excavations took place in the 1980s. But the underwater site still holds many secrets. The submerged city of Baia is currently only known within the perimeter of the walls plus a few specific points. But it is an ongoing discovery. 400 meters of remains stretch from the current coastline. Therefore, many settlements, many houses, many baths are still to be discovered or are only minimally known. Columns, new floors, new mosaics are constantly emerging during the research that the park is conducting. And in particular, next spring, we will begin evacuating one of these places. The statues are now preserved in the archaeological museum of Campi Fligri, but copies of the originals have been placed underwater so that divers can experience the splendor of 2000 years ago. The underwater park has become one of the main attractions where about 15,000 people come to visit every year by snorkeling, diving or aboard boats. Including the semi-submersible Nemo that have windows in the keel. The greatest challenge, however, is to preserve the works that the sea has swallowed. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.